to address the issues facing Tennesseans today. From 10 News, this is Inside Tennessee. Good morning and welcome to Inside Tennessee. I'm your moderator, John Becker. Two freshman lawmakers with us this morning join the new class of elected leaders in the Tennessee State House. But the names you're about to hear are familiar. They are both veteran politicians in East Tennessee. Former state rep and now newly elected state rep, Gloria Johnson, joins us. Nice to have you with us. Good to be here. She happens to be a Democrat and defeated her Republican opponent, Eddie Smith. And Dave Wright has served in the Knox County Commission before running for the District 19 seat, taking over for Harry Brooks, who chose not to run. Nice to have you here. Thanks. Good morning. Good morning. And I'm going to introduce our panel before we get to questions. On the end is Don Bosch. He is a lawyer, and he, too, happens to be a Democrat. Good morning. Happy to be a Democrat. Good. And Susan Richardson-Williams, happy to be a Republican, serving as a PR rep in her own firm. <laughs> Good morning, John. <laughs> nice to have you here. Well, congratulations to both of you. Uh, this is familiar territory for you, Ms. Johnson. So what is at the top of your agenda as you head into the next legislative session in January? Well, I think that, you know, for me, it's what is what was the top of the mind of the folks in my district, which is clearly health care and education. Those were uh, what we heard on the doorstep more than anything else and talking to thousands of people in the district. It was real concerns about health care, about education, certainly the testing portion specifically. So well, let's um, deal with health care real quickly and then we'll get to to Dave Wright. But um, specifically what they're do you think you can move forward with that might gain some traction among your colleagues? You're dealing with a super majority of Republicans. Right. And, I, and I think, and I understand that. And I think that, um, you know, there is some support on both sides of the aisle for Medicaid expansion or, you know, Governor Haslam's in Sure Tennessee had some Republican support. But the reality is if we're going to get serious um, about making sure that everybody has access to health care in Tennessee, and specifically when you look at the studies that have been coming out now, and you see that states like Ohio, those participating in Medicaid expansion, 96% with opiate issues have gotten treatment. And if we want to be serious about hitting those things, we've got to make sure that we do this. It's good economically, and it's, it's the right and moral thing to do. We'll uh, dive into more uh, health care and education discussion. But um, Dave Wright, what's first on your agenda as a new state lawmaker? Uh, first on my agenda, I guess, would be the new member orientation and just getting a seat on the floor and, and uh, getting to hear what are the issues at the state level. As you say, I've been around Knox County for a while, but the, the hot burning issue in Knox County has always been land use. When you get to the state level, it becomes education, health care, uh, roads, lots of other things. Were you hearing those priorities that uh, Gloria mentioned in your district as you were campaigning? Did health care and education rise to the top of the list or were there other topics people were interested in? Uh, education and jobs were at the top of the list of the things I heard. Mm -hmm. Well, Gloria, let's dive into the health care component okay. since John started with that. Um, first, I agree with you. I think we need Medicaid, uh, Medicare expansion, um, but I think politically it's not going to happen, particularly with Governor Lee. I, I think there are some Republicans that like it, but I think they fear their base and their vote if they were to vote for something that still stings of the words Obamacare, <laughs> as it's called. So assuming for a moment that I'm correct, what are the other stopgap measures that you might see that could get traction that might help those that need medical care? Well, you know, using those dollars, I think in some form or fashion, whatever that looks like, I'm certainly open to a compromise. But I think that the real reality is it people are recognizing the poor economic decision it was for Tennessee. More than 60 percent of Tennesseans support it. How long are we going to ignore what the people, the citizens of Tennessee want, regardless of party, it's not a partisan issue. I know. And, but and, I, and I, I do believe when Governor Lee hears from the people of Tennessee and hears the stories, and it's going to be a groundswell from activists, from organizations that have been supporting health care, they're going to, they have all beefed up their game. It is going to be very loud and a lot of pressure. and. I'm already hearing folks on the other side of the aisle who have been against it not saying no. Dave, what, what do you think from your perspective can be done? And Gloria, she's, she's sticking to her guns here thinking that maybe expansion might be the answer. What do you think is the answer and what do you think could politically pass? Um, <clears throat> being uninformed, let me just say a word or two about the incoming governor. 
sort of like I am, but he's been traveling all over the state. He's heard what people have to say about health care. And I'm sure that whatever is brought to the floor of the House will have to have a good chance of passing, else he won't be bringing it. Go ahead. Yeah, Mark, well, I wanted to ask another question about education. And I know, Gloria, you've been a proponent uh, or an opponent of vouchers <laughs> and educational savings accounts, that sort of thing. And it's something that Governor Lee talked mm -hmm. about, Governor Elect Lee talked about a lot during the campaign. Dave, that's something you've encountered here. We've talked about vouchers and other private uh, monies coming from uh, to public schools to go to private schools. I know you're opposed. I'd like to know where you are, Dave, because it sounds to me from what I've read in Governor-elect Lee's uh, policies that he's going to be looking at that pretty seriously. I think that he will definitely be looking at education as the main uh, point. The issue being, though, I think he's wanting to be people to come out of high school being career, career ready. Right. Um, as you know, being on county commission, I attended more board education meetings <laughs> and all the rest of the nation <laughs> combined. But my experience was with bricks and mortar. That was my concern was bricks and mortar. But you still had to sit through the rest of the meeting. So I know teacher pay, uh, testing, evaluation, all of that kind of stuff will be uh, a, a big talking point in the upcoming uh, so, session. So are you a fan of, of school choice of <clears throat> vouchers? Would you call yourself a supporter of that? I think I first have to ask the question if there's something, is there something wrong with public education? And if that's the reason we're going to vouchers, why are we not fixing public education? Well, and earlier this month, the Knox County Board of Education passed a resolution mm -hmm. in response to some comments by right. the governor-elect saying, listen, we don't, we don't want to see that. We would be opposed to any kind of move towards school choice. Gloria, and we'll, we'll I, have you I would really like to redefine. <coughs> I don't think Governor Lee talked a lot about vouchers. He had talked about it before running for office. There was no voucher bill last session because nobody wanted to talk about vouchers because not all in of the an election year. So they, so there wasn't. He didn't talk about <laughs> uh, uh, vouchers during the election. I think we need to clear that up because he's afraid of it. He knows it's not popular. What about charter schools? Well, in an interview with the Tennessean, he, newspaper he did recently, talk about he did, it. He yes. did address it. So that's I think he did part, part of the exactly. Reason. Uh, before the election? It was after, after the election. election. Recent, very recently. After, yes, after yeah. the election, I was I was certain that would happen. Mm -hmm. But we didn't hear discussion on vouchers in during the election. And we're we're going to take a quick break, Don. We'll pick up with you right after this. We'll be back with more on Inside Tennessee momentarily.